Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. Now in the last episode we did some landscaping in front of the cathedral and while I've got my tools out and I'm in a landscaping mood, I'm going to tackle another landscaping job and this is a big one. I've been toying around with some ideas for what to do over here by the castle and today I'm finally going to put those ideas into practice. So I'm going to use the moss method because this mountain needs to come down before we can get started and I need some moss and this I think is the best way to kill two birds with one stone. So let's get to it. And after removing just two layers of moss, I am sick and tired of it. So I'm back here at the warehouse, I'm grabbing my beacon and I'm going to go back to the tried and trusted method of removing that mountain. I think it's going to be way quicker and of course it's going to be way, way cheaper. A lot of bone meal is needed to take down a mountain of this size and while I've got a lovely skeleton farm giving me plenty of bones, I think it's time to switch back to simply mining it out. So I've got some iron blocks, I'm going to build me a base for my beacon and then I'm going to mine this out the old fashioned way with a pickaxe. And I think I'm going to be using the rich picker so I can get some cobblestone instead of pure stone. I've got chests upon chests of pure stone and I can do with a little bit of cobble. So let's build ourselves the beacon base and then we'll get down to work. And it's time to light the beacon and I must be honest, I kind of know how this works, I'm not 100% sure, I don't know if you have to activate these separately every time. Yeah, I've only got haste one, so uh, let's just pop another iron ingot in there, and then let's activate haste two. And with that done, we are ready to start digging, and yes, you can see there is a lot of stone that needs removing. As I said, I'm going to be using the rich picker to dig it out and that will give me cobblestone instead of normal stone. And this is probably going to take me a few hours. There's a lot of stone that needs to be removed and we're going to have plenty of cobblestone at the end of this. And I think the best thing that we can do right now is to jump into a time lapse and watch as we bring this mountain to its knees. Let's go. And we have removed a few layers, it's definitely going a lot quicker than the moss, but so is my pickaxe. After removing a bunch of layers, I have very, very little durability left on it, which means it's time for a trip to the nether, to the gold farm, to go and get it all fixed up. And I think my elytra is also a little bit worse for wear, but we'll get that fixed up at the same time. Now judging by how much I've removed so far and how far my pickaxe has gone, I think this is going to be a trip that I'm going to be making many, many times today. And while it would be fun to watch me bring the whole mountain down, it would be rather interrupted every time I need to come here and fix up this pickaxe. And I don't think overall it's going to make for a very satisfying time lapse. So instead of having the whole thing done on screen, I'm going to dig it out in my own time. And then once it is done, I'll come back and we will have a look at what exactly we have achieved. Uh, there we go. And here comes the experience. Little guys in first, of course, because they're quick as all heck. And here comes the big oaks. And any moment now, it's gonna get real loud in here. Let's listen. Oh yeah, there we go. And here comes the experience. So let's get all of our tools fixed up. And then I will dig out the mountain and come back once that is all done. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. And there we go. We have removed the mountain. We've also removed a part of the mountain behind it. And as you can see, I've moved my beacon as well. However, what I thought was going to take me two or three hours took me more than eight. But just look at how that castle pops now that all of this mountain has been removed. I have also added some grass and so far it is looking absolutely lovely but there's still a ton of work that needs to be done and the first thing i'm going to do is tidy up this area up top here 
I need to build a base to work from and what I want to do is make a big circular front to it. Just tidy it up as one would expect from such a magnificent castle. So I'm just measuring out exactly how big the circle needs to be and yes it is quite a monster and it works out it's going to end right there. Now let's just fly up, take a look at how big this is going to be and you'll see the edges are all jagged and uneven but I'm going to turn that into a beautiful circular pattern. Hello, it's me again and um, yeah, uh, being the great YouTuber that I am, I managed to hit start streaming instead of start recording. And as a result, I spent an hour streaming instead of recording, which means I have no footage to show what I've done. Even worse is during that entire stream, I had one viewer and one chatter, which turned out to be a bot. So, yeah, that hurts a little bit, but let's take a look at what we've done so far. We've made some progress, and I'm going to show it to you right now. So, we've got the circular pattern at the top done, and down there I've started adding the staircase, which is going to lead up to this area from the bridge. And if we fly out and take a look, it's, it still looks like an absolute mess down here, but... I'm working with a plan and I think once this is done it's going to look amazing. So there's still a lot of work to be done and I have managed to hit record so I'll be able to show it to you. But right now I am out of dirt which means I need to go fetch some more. Let's just grab our shulker box and then we'll head over to the warehouse. I need some dirt and I need some other materials as well because I need to clad those cliffs with some beautiful faces. I'm going to use some cobble deep slate, I'm going to use some stone, some cobblestone and then just a few other blocks for some decoration. And uh, yeah, let's grab another shulker box, let's grab our goodies and here we go, we are back. Now that side is actually looking pretty good, I like the overhang and I think I'm going to keep it. But the biggest job that I've got here is to make the staircase and this is a pretty tough job because making a staircase which winds up the side of a circle is not easy. The best thing you can do is just some trial and error, lay out some blocks and then adjust it as you go and um, I think eventually it's going to look a lot better once I've got the slabs in here as well and I've got a proper staircase going up but for now I'm just going to bring the cliff down and just give a rough layout of where I think these stairs should be. And the staircase is pretty much done and it is looking very good indeed. As you can see it's just dirt right at this moment but it gives us a good base to work from. And the next thing I'm going to need to do is add some slabs, add the faces to the side of the cliffs and then we will have a beautiful functional staircase coming up the side. First I need to remove these trees because they are unfortunately in the way. I will plant a sapling for them somewhere else. But right now they've got to go. And we can start laying down the slabs. And this is going to help us to decide where we need to position the staircase, where we need to make some changes and how it's going to wide up the side of this mountain. So I'm just going to start over here, lay down some slabs, see how it goes and then edit as I go along. Changing it up, putting in some blocks where there needs to be blocks and removing some where it needs to be removed. And this might take a while because as I've said this is a case of trial and error. I need to place them down, see what they look like and remove and change it until it looks fantastic. And I'm going to start at the bottom, work my way up, wind my way around this mountain until I've got a staircase that I'm fairly happy with. And as you can see it's going to be slow going because I need to place down the blocks, see what it looks like and then change them as needed. And finally I have a staircase going all the way up to the top. And looking down on it, it actually looks really, really good. I love the way that it winds around the mountain. It's coming down very nice and even. And I think this is an excellent start. But of course, people visiting the castle is going to be coming over the bridge over here. And I'm really happy that we finally have a purpose to our bridge. So let's complete the staircase and let's build these cliffs. And 
then we have the foundations all in place. So the next thing I want to do is just go around and mix it up a little bit here on the cliffs. I'm using some andesite and of course I'm using some gravel. And for good measure, I'm going to be throwing in one or two blocks of light gray concrete because it worked extremely well on the other end and it looks fantastic. But there's a lot of cliffs to decorate here and once again, there's no quick way of doing it. I literally have to dig it out and see where it goes. And with the cliff done, it's time to add some moss hanging over the sides. Of course, just plain moss would look a little bit too heavy, so I'm using some leaves. I'm starting with oak leaves at the top, blending that into some jungle leaves, and then at the bottom, I'm using azalea leaves. And I'm hoping that the color differentiation will give us a lovely gradient coming down. And uh, just a few more pieces to go over here. Let's get those in there. And this shouldn't take me too long, but already I think it is looking brilliant. We'll have to see once this is done, of course, and there are just a few more to go. Now that we've done all the moss, we can remove our dirt scaffolding and finally, for the first time, fly out and get a proper look at what we've done. And that looks phenomenal. I love the way the moss changes color towards the ends. I love the texturing on the side of the cliff. And I especially love the way that all of this is coming together to make a staircase worthy of our beautiful castle. Of course, the asset test is to land on the bridge, walk over it and view it as anybody making their way to the castle would. And it looks absolutely stunning. Now, I'm not going to do too much to the cliff on the side because I really like the way it looks, but I still need to mix it up on the staircase itself with some stone bricks and maybe some mossy stone and then build the cliff on the inside of the staircase. So let's do that. And there we go. It is complete. The stairway to the castle has been finished. And just look at that cliff. I've added in some moss, some mossy cobble, and of course we needed some moss hanging down the side. As for the staircase itself, I've added in some smooth stone, some stone bricks, a bit of mossy stone here and there, and then we've got the inside cliff mirroring the outside one with some moss hanging down. And overall, this is really turning into one of the most beautiful sights in this entire world. And I suppose I could have stopped right there, but I'm not done yet because this is the part I've been looking forward to for months. I want to build a hedge maze up here. And for that, I'm going to be using some moss. I want these bushes to look thick and well tended. And that is also one of the reasons why I was using moss to mine down a part of this mountain. Now, I have absolutely no idea how to do this. I've never attempted anything like this before. So it's going to be a case of fool around and find out. I'm sure once I get into swing of it, it's going to be a lot easier. But right now, I need to figure out exactly where to go and what to do. And let's just take a look. Oh, it's going to look so good once this is done. All right, let's get a few more pieces of this maze in here. I'm just going to lay out some paths, see where that takes me. And of course, that will help me to figure out the pitfalls of doing this figure out where I'm going wrong if I go wrong and hopefully we won't go wrong too far. So let's just, okay, and uh, I've already gone wrong because this is three wide. It doesn't match up there. Um, yeah, I want to have the whole thing with a one wide little path all the way through and that means this entire area needs to be reconfigured. Um, it also means that that back row is one too far backwards. So, um, yeah, I think let's figure out what we're going to do. And the best course of action was to remove everything. Because while I was designing this, Mrs. Rex told me to look up the gardens of Versailles. And I must say it has inspired me indeed. So I want to add a fountain in the middle of the road here in the style of the gardens of Versailles. And Mrs. Rex is also probably going to reprimand me for not pronouncing that with a proper French accent, but I'll deal with that later. Anyway, I wanna create a circular fountain right here in the middle of the road, and then I'm gonna have the hedge maze surrounding it. Uh, not that block, that one is not supposed to be part of the fountain circle. 
Let's just pop the dirt back in there and then let's take a look at the size of this because I have a sneaky suspicion that this is just too small. Let's grab our rockets and let's take an aerial view. Yeah, that is definitely too small. And there we go. We are now creating a bigger circle over here. It's not much bigger, but you would be surprised at what a difference that one block can make. So I'm just laying out the new circle over here. It's only four blocks bigger in diameter than the previous one, but I think that's going to make all the difference in the world. Let's take a look and... Oh yeah, that is much, much better. So the next thing I want to do is dig all of this out, lay it out in stone, and then I will start designing the fountain that goes in the middle of it. Now I'm not sure what I want to do with the fountain, but I do know I want to have it looking pretty much like the Garden of Versailles fountains. A little circular ring inside the middle of the pond, and I hope I'll be able to pull that off. And it's looking pretty good so far. The outer ring has been completed. So what I want to do next is make another smaller one inside of that. And then between the two, have a ring of calcite. Something that will pop as you walk up to the castle. So the next thing I need to do is just dig out where the inner ring is going to go. Leaving space for that ring of calcite. I also want to have a little hedge going around this fountain. And then of course I want to use, finally some waxed copper for the inside. So let's get this ring in and let's continue building the fountain. So we've completed the two rings. I'm just digging out the center for the calcite to go in and we'll pop that in there right now. And as soon as this is done, we'll take stock of what we've created, go up to the castle, have a look at what it looks like and hopefully it will look amazing. And indeed it does and now you can see why I had to demolish that entire maze. This is where I originally intended to start it and this needs to move way way back. So let's just take care of that and I think I'm gonna complete the fountain before starting on the maze once again. Now as I said I want to have a little hedge going around the fountain and I'm just gonna place that down over here. I still need to see exactly how I want the circle to work out but I'm gonna start at one end and then figure it out as I go along. And the hedge has been completed. I've added some hedges to the side. I've dug out where the fountain needs to go and I love the way that this is turning out. Just look at that. It's gonna look even more impressive once we've got the fountain in there and then we can do the hedge mazes around the side. Now I still need to decide whether I want to keep this part as a part of the maze or maybe just build it out in a square like so. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. And then I need to start thinking about some decoration. Because I think it will be a little bit overwhelming to have all of this just plain moss. And the fountain has been built. And just look at that. I think it looks pretty good. Now, of course, the only thing I still want to do here is add a little bit of a stone base underneath the copper stairs. You can't have just copper floating on the water like that. So once I get that in, there's still a ton of work that needs to be done. Firstly, we need to finally create that hedge maze around both sides. And then I need to start working on the actual castle entrance on this side. Because so far, all I've done is smash a hole in the wall, which, yeah, it's not really the most elegant solution. Now I'm of course going to take inspiration from what I've done on the other side of the castle, but that was done in creative world and this is all live in my hardcore world. So it's taking a bit longer. I don't have everything I need at my fingertips, but I have to admit the challenge of doing this in the hardcore world really is fun. And the fountain is done. So let's see about the rest of the area.
and we are finally done. And just taking a look at it all, it is looking beautiful. The staircase is looking spectacular, winding its way up the side of the mountain, crawling along the cliff. And of course, the front over here with the overhang is also looking amazing. Then up top, we've got our hedge maze and it is everything I hoped it would be. We've got the fountain in the middle, we've added some azalea leaves, some flowering azalea leaves, and all in all, it is looking beautiful. Now there's still a lot of work to be done over here. We need to add a few decorations, maybe some potted plants, and then of course, a bunch of custom trees. And finally, we have completed the entrance to the castle. I've added some spruce, some calcite, and it looks amazing. But that, ladies and gents, is unfortunately all we have time for today. I really do hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did, and if you want to see some more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But this is Fungosaurus Rex saying, until next time, beautiful people, stay awesome. Bye-bye.